All right, ladies and gentlemen, friendly reminder before I get into today's video, if you do enjoy, please subscribe. We just hit 400. Feels very good. But anyways, guys, today we're going to talk about James Harden and the Houston Rockets organization. Now, it appears last night James Harden was at another club. We know James Harden loves strip clubs. I don't think it's that big of a deal at all. I think he still did his individual workout last night. Uh, I don't relatively see it as as that big of a deal. Um, his emoji yesterday on Instagram also, you know, I, I think I think it was obviously a coded message, but I'm not quite sure if it really has negative implications around the Houston Rockets. Like I said in yesterday's video, I think James Harden's emoji on Instagram yesterday was in response to John Wall saying he talked to James Harden and he wants him to stay. Basically, does James Harden have the Houston Rockets, or basically does James Harden trust the Houston Rockets? We're about to find out. Like I said, he missed again last night. Uh, he's not obeying the uh, the NBA COVID protocols. It's getting very interesting. Um, you know, the more videos I've made recently, because I made a video pretty recently saying I think James Harden will 95% sure, like I'm 95% sure James Harden will be traded before the NBA trade deadline. And I totally still believe that. I really think James Harden will be traded by the NBA trade deadline um, if things do not work out. But it is reassuring. I do think that they're going to give it a shot. I do think James Harden's going to give it a shot. James Harden wanted to play with John Wall. He didn't want to play with Russell Westbrook. I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to give it a try. But as I mentioned earlier, the biggest thing right now is simply not no team really has the assets to trade for James Harden. Like you have the 76ers, you have the Nets. However, both it, it seems the 76ers don't really have enough um or they're not willing both teams don't seem to be willing to give away what they would have to give away even for this trade to make sense and for the nets i'm talking dinwiddie allen even lavert and um, certainly some first round draft picks so you know essentially the houston rockets did a lot this this uh off season and recently you know obviously trading capella uh trading Westbrook really recently we got DeMarcus Cousins we got Christian Wood gave away Rocco um pretty much for what we got him at um it, it's very interesting but I definitely I definitely think that the Houston Rockets lost James Harden's trust um I just it's tough, man. They uh, they went in a totally new direction this offseason, which I'm a huge fan of. Steven Silas, new coach, uh, new GM. But, guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to you know winning championships. And that's one of the things that James Harden was reportedly talking about. He believes the, the window for Houston Rockets basketball winning a championship has closed. And, you know, this has led him to decline the first ever $50 million extension in the NBA, in the history of the NBA. So um, it's not looking great for James Harden resign. However, here is my glimmer of hope. I really think that DeMarcus Cousins, Christian Wood, John Wall, I think they're all going to ball out in Houston. Even if just two of them ball out in Houston, you're still looking at a very, very talented team. James Harden, assumingly he stays healthy, he's going to have another incredible season because he's an incredible player. Um, you know, I mentioned, I've mentioned, i mentioned before, I, I see the Rockets being a top-four team, and I truly believe that. I think they'll be a top-four team around the deadline, and I think it'll convince Harden to stay. I really do. But as far as trust goes, I think he, they definitely lost his trust. I don't know whether that was the Russell Westbrook trade or maybe just the offseason moves in general, maybe trading Clint Capella to, you know, kind of give the lead dog, Russell Westbrook, more, more – um, more space I, I don't really know but you know turning down a 50 million dollar extension it, it's not a good sign um as far as trust goes so i would say our best case scenario is this new rockets offense this new rockets team the new Rockets system that it all works well or it works well enough to not dispose of it so 
I definitely think that this season is going to be a great one. I think we're going to come in third place, uh, maybe even second. I think we could definitely even sneak the second. It really depends on injuries as far as our team goes and even across the league. So I think that they rock with this. I expect James Harden at practice relatively soon. Um I expect him to continue to go to clubs, no doubt about it. He loves his clubs. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, He's in Houston. He might as well enjoy it. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I I think – I don't know, man. I think think we kind of just got to see how it goes. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, peace.